round two. Q. You're living with this mom. Mic's off, mic's off. Going live in three, two, one. We're witnessing what, today's politics. Very exciting. Well. Good morning, Long Island. Good evening. Thank you for watching News 12. Good evening. I'm Stone Grissom. And thank you for joining us. I'm Roxanne Evans. I'm Alicia Lavenger. Welcome back. We're live right now. Our top story tonight. Fire ripped through two homes in Nassau. Also hoping whoever did this is going to be caught. This fire started just after 4 o'clock. A transformer went on fire. The two suspects have struck four times. Chopper 12 over the scene. Better off than lots of people. It was toppled over roots and all. A declining enrollment was the reason. A warning pedestrians to be careful. It gives the students a place to escape. Expanding both wind and solar energy projects. He has many more details about what she's doing. Get a mandate, get tough, and let's go. Sports is next. It's been another stellar season. <laughs> Step up and let's show them what we're all about. Put me to work. Felicia Lavender brings us this best of the Bronx report. If you're 12 on the Money Minute, I'm Rebecca Saran. My mission is getting to the truth. Sports report, our News 12 Connecticut Scholar Athlete of the Week. This storm really has intensified. And this storm is going to continue to rev up. As this water keeps coming through. The storm system kind of moves in our direction. But I'm definitely feeling the waves crashing under my feet. And this is one of the reasons why you want to stay indoors. So that is quite impressive. Road conditions have improved. Besides the waves and some fender benders. Go to news12.com. In Woodbridge Township, Luke Margolis, News 12, New Jersey. News 12, Brooklyn. News 12, Connecticut. News 12, the Bronx. News 12, Westchester. News 12, Hudson Valley. Thanks for joining us here at News 12, Long Island.